If you'd like to add voice chat to your Wavelink Elgato Wave 3 mix, this is exactly how you do it. There's a number of steps involved. Pay attention to every single step. Don't just skip over a step because you'll get feedback loops and it's just not going to work. So your first step is, of course, to have the Wavelink software up and running. You'll probably have your mic in there as your channel one at the very least. What you're going to want to do is in channel two, add an audio input. And I recommend selecting voice chat as your option here. Now, I, I'm going to I'm going to mute the monitor mix on mine. So yeah, I don't get a feedback loop, but you can choose whether you want to hear Discord or any voice chat in your headphones or not. Whether you wanted to go through your stream mix or not, you choose that by clicking these buttons and you can, of course, select the volume levels of your headphone mix and of your stream mix accordingly for voice chat. So you have full control in your hands here through this mixer. I like to rename this channel, whatever the name of the voice chat app is that you're using, I'll name mine Discord. Cool? Awesome. The next step that you're going to do is you're going to open Discord and you're going to join a call of some description or join a voice room just to be able to test your setup. And so preferably you'll join with someone else so they can tell you whether the experience is the right experience for them when they're talking to you through Discord. I'm in a live room right now, as you can see on my Discord server. So I'm just going to use that as my example. Awesome. Now that I'm in that room, I will actively see in Windows Discord input or inputs, plural. This is annoying. Discord will show up multiple times sometimes, but they'll show up here. How do you see them right here? We have to do settings here to route it in your computer accordingly. So how do we do that? Go to the search bar down on the bottom, type sound. Then you're going to see sound mixer options down here. Click on sound mixer options, and then it'll bring up this routing menu that you see over here on the side. What you're going to do for Discord is you're going to select Wavelink voice chat as your top option and Wavelink stream as your bottom option. If multiple discords show up here for some reason, make sure they're both on voice chat and they're both on stream. Got it? Easy. This is going to make it so that your discord audio doesn't fly into your headphones all nilly willy or through your speakers, your capture card or some random place on your computer that you're not prepared for and create some sort of feedback loop or problem cool make sure you route the audio in your system or it's not going to work right awesome the next step is in discord you need to select what the audio experience is going to be for the participants of your call or in the room what do i mean by that so go into your settings menu in discord or whatever voice chat application you're using and then go to the area where you select the audio inputs and outputs in discord it's voice and video Cool. So go up here to the top. Here's the important choice that you need to make. So for your input device, I, for 99% of you guys, would recommend doing mic in. What does that mean? That means that they're only going to hear what's coming through your mic. Cool. That's probably what almost everyone wants to hear. In some cases, though, you may want to broadcast through your entire stream mix. So you would select Wavelink Stream. That would be every audio input you're bringing in through Wavelink. They'd hear it all. Game audio, music, playback, whatever it is, plus your mic. OK, or you may want to have them hear what you hear in your headphone, in your monitor mix. You can select that there. But for 99% of y'all, it's just going to be mic in. So they only hear what you're saying. Cool. For your output device, manually select Wavelink Voice Chat here. This is going to help. 99% of you just make sure that the audio is routed correctly and you aren't going to get a feedback loop. You may want to select something different based on a custom configuration on your computer, but for 99% of y'all, this is the safe setting. Cool. Once you're done here, you can escape and you can move Discord or your voice chat application out of the way. Now, whenever you talk to somebody on Discord, you will see their levels pop in right here and you can select whether you want to hear that in your monitor mix your stream mix or both, and you can see the levels down here at the bottom and you can choose by clicking the ears which one you want to monitor or not the stream mix or the monitor mix of you talking to people in discord. I'm 
not going to talk to myself today for this demo because that'll create insane feedback loops for myself, but you will see the other person's audio popping through right here on Discord as you're speaking with them and you can adjust them accordingly and monitor them accordingly. I recommend for 99% of you guys making sure that you're listening to the monitor mix and that you have them going through your monitor mix on your computer and you adjust the volume there and doing a separate mix for stream mix. OK, because some people um, may not want to hear when they're interviewing somebody or talking to somebody their audio at full volume. But you may want to make sure that their audio is at full volume for the recording or for the stream so the audience can hear that accordingly. So let me make that more simple. You need to choose three mixes for voice chat. It's, it's simple. Follow me. You need to choose the mix in your own headphones using the headphone volume sliders here. You need to choose the mix that your audience hears using the stream playback volume. And then you need to choose the mix that the participant is hearing in Discord by going through the settings that we just talked about a moment ago. Are they going to hear your mic volume? Are they going to hear the stream mix? You got to make that selection and make sure that all three of these mixes are set up appropriately. Have someone else there to participate in this test, it will make it so much better and ensure that everything is set up correctly. This can drastically increase your production quality doing collaborations with other streamers and creators and doing interviews on Discord. It's ultra high quality. I've produced over 100 podcasts on Discord. So take the time to get these settings right and reap the rewards. Adios.